morning everyone i am ravinder from government polytechnic station kanpur varangal and today i am going to talk about surveying and in the theory led surveying uh, surveying is art and science of determining relative positions above or beneath the surface of the earth and the main aim of the surveying is to prepare a map to exact scale and we have different types classification in that number one uh, major classification that is Uh, geodetic surveying and plane surveying geodetic surveying is a surveying in which we will consider the curvature of the earth earth is a, exactly in oblate spheroidal shape when we consider that it came to geodetic surveying and plane surveying is a surveying in which we will consider earth surface as a plane just linear type and when the area surveying is going to be less than 250 km we will prefer plane surveying and when it is exceeds 250 square kilometers we will prefer geodetic surveying and based on instruments we have chain surveying compass surveying theodolite surveying tachometric surveying and latest we have electronic theodolite surveying total station likewise and today i am going to talk about especially theodolite surveying wherein we will measure angles based on angles we will calculate exact values now theodolite is a instrument which calculate angle up to 10 min 10 seconds exact and uh, we have basic component parts and some basic definition to understand theodolite surveying uh, one is level surface and level surface is a surface which is parallel to earth mean spheroidal surface any surface which is parallel to earth mean spheroidal surface and we have datum datum is again a level surface whose elevation is zero that is generally we take mean sea level as a datum so we'll take zero level at the mean sea level from there we will measure either upwards or downwards that's why it is datum and next we have height of instrument that is a vertical distance measured from datum to uh, line of collimation that is we have instrument called theodolite Uh, in which there will be a telescope the telescope center line will be line of axis line of instrument axis so vertical difference from datum to that line of instrument will measure as uh, will call as a height of instrument and we have reduced level reduced level or elevation is again a vertical difference from datum to a set any a fixed point benchmark means a fixed point uh, reduced level of benchmark means vertical difference from datum to uh, exactly uh, a fixed point in a vertical distance now we have two methods uh, for calculating reduced levels of different points and this theodolite surveying is most useful in engineering works such as uh, canal works and road laying works we'll set up a along the alignment we'll set up at regular intervals like 30 meters or so and we'll mark the points and we'll calculate reduced level by using this theodolite light and after uh, there will be a table in which we are going to calculate reduced levels by taking observations such as back side intermediate side and fore side Final, finally we will calculate reduced levels of all point and thereby we can uh, we can conclude that whether this route is uh, suitable for the planning actual road or otherwise we can suit we can select other route the other different routes likewise and uh, while calculating uh, while measuring this is uh, theory light we follow uh, a set of stations like connected series of lines we will call as uh, i mean we will call as a traverse and we have open traverse and closed traverse open traverse means it starts somewhere and ends somewhere and whereas closed traverse starts at the same point and travels all around and closes at the same point that is called closed traverse and while while surveying we'll take observations of different angles and as well as lens and after surveying we'll come to a, a plain paper we'll fix at board and with by taking some scale we will enter the same values Uh, by drawing on board i mean on sheet uh, 
it may be possible to exactly close or generally it will not close and we can we can rectify that error by using different methods we have different methods right bowdish method and transit method this bowdish method is more suitable when angular and linear uh, readings are taken with uh, equal precision and whereas transit rule is used when angular measurements are with a great greater precision and linear measurements are with lesser precision like so uh, first of all by taking i mean by using theory light we have to set some adjustments that we call as temporary adjustments and permanent adjustments temporary adjustments means what all the adjustments uh, we have to take after setting up instrument every time that we will call as temporary adjustments in that we have three setting up over exactly a station and leveling up and elimination of parallax this first one setting up over a station is done generally done by uh, moving tripod legs either radially or circumferentially to bring the plumb up point exactly over a station that is done and second one is leveling leveling we can done approximately using tripod legs and exactly with foot screws there will be three set of foot screws uh, and first of all we will keep a bubble tube exactly parallel to one of uh, two of the foot screws and we can move foot screws either both inward or both outward and while moving we can observe uh, bubble will always move in the direction of left thumb moves left thumb move exactly in the same direction bubble can move so by moving both inward or outward we will will bring the bubble into the center of its run and then we will move the instrument telescope such that bubble tube will will be 90 degrees to the initial position and we will operate the third foot screw again with the left hand left hand uh, to bring it to bring the bubble into the center of its run and we will repeat this process until we will get in both direction bubble will center and we can check from initial position we can rotate in 180 degrees bubble uh, should be at the center of its run then it is leveling is done and the next step is elimination of parallax uh, this is done again in two steps elimination of I mean focusing eyepiece and focusing uh, objective focusing eyepiece is uh, I mean by doing focusing eyepiece we will get crosshairs actually in telescope there will be crosshairs vertical and uh, horizontal hairs so visibility of crosshairs can be adjusted by uh, focusing eyepiece and focusing objective uh, wherein we will get the actual image image clearly or light blur image we will rotate that focusing screw until we get until we get the exact clear picture and we can take uh, readings we can take readings there will be leveling staff and uh, which leveling staff measures up to 5 mm that is 0 0.05 meters and which is marked in red uh, white and black strips so after t uh, setting up a telescope pure light telescope we will uh, see through telescope and mark a position uh, or uh, we will read the i mean re we'll record the reading uh, by sighting onto the telescope staff and then we will note down in the tabular form which will be which consists of station back side intermediate side fore side and height of instrument and reduced level remarks if any uh, generally the first reading is taken on benchmark and last reading is taken again on benchmark and we will call different sites like back side it is a first site first reading taken after setting of the instrument and intermediate site is different and we will take a first uh, foresight foresight is a site which will take just before shifting the instrument and in between what all the uh, readings we take that we will call it as intermediate sites and generally last reading will always be foresight likewise we will enter in a tabular column and uh, finally a check should be like some of the back sides uh, minus some of the foresights uh, must be equal to last reduced level minus first reduced level this is the check okay thank you one